Hey guys, what's up? Jefferson here, bringing you the video that I promised you yesterday, which is going to be a copyright discussion, just making sure that you guys understand the rules and regulations and consequences of copywriting someone's um, or taking somebody's you know video and using it without their permission. Um, so basically, this video is inspired by a debate that happened yesterday, um, and I'm not going to name any names. But this guy, he has 1.3 million subscribers, and he was using a guy's video. And his, in this guy's video, you know, he has 2.5 million subscribers. He's bigger than this guy, and this guy is um, using it for one of his videos. And his whole entire YouTube channel is based 99% is based around him giving his reaction on videos. So you know, it doesn't matter. It could be any video on the internet, and he will do a reaction to it. Now. You know, I can't really say anything bad about the guy um, doing it, doing his YouTube channel the way he does it, uh, without any original content, um, because he has you know so many subscribers and you know his the people that watch his videos like it. You know, his like bar is you know usually always green. There's not too many dislikes, so I can't really say anything about the guy. But I just want to break into um, just copyright infringement and how to protect yourself, basically. So. First off, um, copying someone's intro and outro. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about you know graphics or anything like that. Um, let's talk about Scumpy, you know, from Call of Duty. I know you guys probably know him. You know, at the beginning of his videos, he goes, "Yo, yo, yo, what's up, guys? Scumpy here. Um, Boogie two nine eight eight goes, um, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, Boogie two nine eight eight here, coming to you know, uh, coming to you live once again through the power of the internet. You know, something like that. Um, someone else." Um, Try to think of somebody else that does a, intro, a unique intro, but you know, just basically, you can't um, copy someone's intro or anything like that because they have a partnership with YouTube. And even though technically you aren't copying them because you know you may have come up with that on your own, it may be a coincidence. Um, but because they're partnered with YouTube and you're a little guy, you're just starting out, you will get squashed. Um, that's just the way it is. And YouTube's terms and services say that they can take down any video at any time. You know, it is their video. And you understand, you know, when you made a YouTube account, you checked in that box that said you understood that the content that you're producing, it belongs to YouTube because you're using their website to do so. Um, so you using someone's video or a piece of it for your channel... Uh, without getting permission is against the terms and service. Um, you know, let's say you get permission, then it's all fine and dandy. But like him, he cannot do what he's doing is illegal, and um, that is copyright infringement. The reason why his YouTube videos aren't get aren't getting taken down and why he is um, still making them without any repercussions is because the people, um, the original creators of the videos that he's using. They filed a third-party claim, and what that means is that YouTube understands that the original creator um, decided to not, um, you know, get his you know videos taken down, his channel striked, or anything like that. They decided that all the money that is that you know should be going to him, since he it's his YouTube channel, is going to be going to the originators because it's their video. And that's why he has only gotten um, one copyright strike since he first started his whole, his whole entire YouTube channel. Is because um, people aren't too upset with him using the videos, even if he doesn't have permission, because they're getting paid free money. So not only are they getting money for their own YouTube videos, but they're get, they're going to sleep, waking up, and boom, looking at their bank account, and there's an extra you know cash flow coming in because he is making videos. And he's using their content, which means that all that money that should be going to him goes to them. And he understands that. And he said that that's why, you know, he didn't think it was a problem. And he said that, you know, if anyone has a problem with uploading one of their videos and using it for one of his reaction videos, that he just take it down. But the thing about it is that it doesn't matter if he takes it down because the video, the subscribers that he gets from that video and the views and all that stuff will still, you know, you can't take those off. You can take the video off. But you can't take those off. So that's why some people have a problem with it. Um, he does say that some videos he does get money for, um, which is a problem. Like, let's say someone doesn't file a third-party claim, or maybe they don't know that he's using his, um, you know, his or her content. Um, that that's, why he can, that's when he can get away with it. Um, and that's a problem. Um, and he didn't really understand... He he said, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, but he's like, I didn't really... You know, I don't see it as me stealing, but at the end of the day, you know... 
is black and white. You are stealing. Without someone's permission, you're taking somebody, something and using it. That's, you know, what it is. Um, I remember in high school having a video uh, producing class as an elective, and one of the projects that we had was to make a music video, um, you know, using uncopyrighted stuff. And we, if we use copyrighted stuff, we had to get permission from the music group um, that we could use it. Um, so, the, you know, it's the same thing in this case. You have to get permission from that YouTuber that it's okay. Um, now, when you get partnered with YouTube, it's a little bit easier to um, handle these types of things because, you know, you're, work, you're working with YouTube, you're making YouTube money, um, YouTube's making you money, so it's a mutual partnership. But when you're not partnered with them, it's a little bit difficult. Um, YouTube is not going to take down the videos that's on his channel without, you know, the people that made them. Uh, to come to them because he is a verified um, YouTuber and he is bringing a lot of traffic into their website because he has million, uh, over a million subscribers. So uh, that would be bad for business for YouTube. Um, so, you know, on the flip side, YouTube doesn't really have a problem with it unless the YouTubers have a problem with it. Um, and the guy that had a problem with it that, you know, came on the debate to discuss this with this guy, um, he said, you know, Instead of putting my whole entire video, because what he did was he took the whole entire length of the video, and the video was like um, over 10 minutes long, and he didn't edit it. He didn't edit the video after he did the reaction. He just let it play, and then you have him sitting there like this, looking at the camera, just like quiet until he gets a reaction from the video. Like he's like, oh my god, you know, something like that. Um, so in that sense, it is kind of boring, and he should learn how to edit his videos to do that. Um, and, you know, so it is what it is, but that's a big no-no, using, you know, even if you use three seconds of that video, that would still be a no-no, and your whole entire video would be, get, would, you know, get taken down, um, because that's just what it is. Um, so, if you guys didn't know, YouTube has a three-strike policy when you're copywriting or doing anything like that. Um, first time you get a strike, you know, your video is going to get taken down. Every, every time you use something copyright, your video is automatically going to get taken down. They have a little logo. It's a square box with a face, and then the face is, like, you know, kind of slanted like that. Like, um, you know, you're not too happy about it and stuff like that. Um, and it'll say on a, this video has been taken down because it, Contains you know copyrighted stuff from this company or this YouTuber or whatever, um, and which means that the YouTuber or the company um, said, "Hey, this is not cool" or something like that. But you know, a lot of companies like Activision, Microsoft, Sony, a lot of big companies, they have an automated process, which is good because you won't get in trouble because YouTube won't really notice, um, you know, it because it's an automated process that Activision or Sony or whatever they have a partnership with YouTube and they you know have an automated process whenever you upload something that's copyrighted it just boom right when right when it's 100 percent and your video gets uploaded processed and everything boom it's just it's just done you're not even like you're not even gonna get one view on it um and i had this incident a few weeks ago when i uploaded a star wars video where um it wouldn't upload because it what the soundtrack was copyrighted and it was kind of interesting because you know you can't use music that's copyrighted on youtube they have a whole entire section of uncopyrighted music that you can use and i've used a bunch of that for my montages but it was kind of funny and interesting because it was just from the game the music was just from the game so i thought that was kind of funny um how it let me use the game and stuff but not the music um because it comes from the same company uh but anyways um, I wanted to read you guys, uh, no, no, I want to talk to you about strikes. I'm getting ahead of myself. So the first strike is just a warning, video taken down. The second strike, your YouTube channel gets suspended. Uh, you're going to have to have a discussion with YouTube, and they're going to go through the terms and services and make sure that you understand everything, and they're going to ask you, you know, why is this happening, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then your video gets taken down, and then they let you, they, they take out the suspension, and then they let you make videos. And then if you get a third strike, you're out, your, your YouTube channel, your whole entire YouTube channel, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, it doesn't matter if you have a partnership, anything like that, um, your YouTube channel gets terminated, deleted. Um, actually, I don't think it gets deleted. I think it just gets, you know, terminated, you can't use it. I'm not too sure. The vid I think the videos may still be on there. I don't know. Um, but I know you just can't use it ever again. No ifs, ands, or buts. And... 
Um, I think if YouTube finds out that you made another YouTube channel after that, that will get taken down. I don't think they will let you make another YouTube channel. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but, but I know that Mr. Technical Difficulties, he's a huge YouTuber on YouTube. He only has um, about 600,000 subscribers right now. He used to have millions and millions on his original YouTube channel. He had three strikes and it got taken down, but now he has one right now. I think he had a discussion. You know, if you write something to YouTube, then you could probably work something out. Um, you know, make another YouTube channel if your original one got taken down and terminated and stuff because you had three strikes on it. But a cool thing that YouTube does is um, each, you know, e after every six months, one strike gets taken down. So um, a strike only lasts six months. <clears throat> so let's say you're on two strikes, you're scared to upload a video because you might get your third, um, and then it gets, you know, one strike gets taken down because it's been six months. Now you're, you're you know, you're relieved because you have a little bit of cushion. Um, something I wanted to do was read you guys a little excerpt. It's um, from the Terms of Services. It's number six, your content and conduct, um, section B. And it says, you affirm, represent, and warrant that you own or have the necessary licenses, rights, consents, and permissions to publish content you submit and your license to YouTube, um, all patent, trademark, trade secret, copyright, or other proprietary rights in and to such content for publication on the service pursuant to these terms of service. And I will link this whole entire thing um, down below for you guys. Um, but what that basically means is what I said, YouTube owns everything that you, you know, make because it's their website. You say that, hey, this is my content, I have the rights to it, I am the originator and everything like that. Um, so, you know, um, that's basically just what it says. So nobody can do what this guy does and take your thing and, you know, but if you do a third, you know, if you file a third party claim, then you'll make money from him making videos. So that's good on that end. Um, so you talked about YouTube terms and conditions, third party claiming, and that's basically all you need to know. Um, you know, it, it's basically black and white. Just understanding that if you take someone's video without permission, then you have a really high chance of it getting taken down. Um, so yeah, that's it, basically. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer, you would want to know something else about this copyright thing, um, just you know, comment down below, but I am going to link the whole entire Terms and Services um, thing in the description box. And if you guys just want to check it out, it's just on the bottom of, you know, the every every YouTube page on YouTube, it's just on the bottom. You scroll down, it's this little word that says Terms. You click on it, it brings the whole thing up so you can learn, you know, learn the rules and, you know, memorize them by heart or anything like that. Um, if you guys are starting a YouTube channel, this video was just to um, make it easier for you to understand um, the consequences of copyright, you know, what it is and everything like that. Um, because it is a little bit different than what it is in real life when you're do dealing with, you know, movies and music because YouTube videos, you know, YouTube has their own set of rules and everything like that. Um, so... I, I I always think I'm missing something, because this is really important to talk about. But I don't think I am. I think I got it all covered. Um, just just protect yourself. Just know. Um, just try to be original. Like you know, there's so many YouTubers that try to copy off of each other. Just just don't copy. I know it's hard to not copy off someone because of so many YouTubers um, being on YouTube compared to when YouTube first started. Um, same with Twitch. You know, I know there's so many streamers on Twitch. Um, but you just, you gotta, you know, brainstorm, think of original things, and then once you have that, that's yours, that's your branding, your marketing, nobody can take that from you, or you will be able to copyright them, so, you know, just try to be original, that's all I can, you know, say. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up, and comment down below, tell me what you think, if you have any questions I didn't answer, you know, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos coming soon, and I will see you guys tomorrow, I think... I think uh, I should, yeah I think I'll, I'll be able to make a uh, video tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you guys have a great night. Peace out.